Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I was able to make six figures as an independent videographer in 2020, my first year after leaving my agency job. I'm gonna talk through the numbers, yeah, how much I made per each of these clients, just the spread of numbers to be able to hit the $183,000 number that I hit in revenue, and then hundred about $143,000 in profit that year. Again, I just wanna say this from the very beginning, this absolutely blew my mind. This was not my expectation for 2020. This was not my expectation for my first year out of my full-time job. My hope and my desire was purely to make back my salary. My salary at my agency job was right around $52,000. So that was purely my goal was to try and get my salary back and be my own boss and do what I loved. But somehow, somehow I was able to hit $183,000 in revenue and $143,000 in profit, again, in the year that the entire world shut down. So I'm going to go line by line with these clients. I'm going to talk about how much I made per client, but then I'm going to talk about the content that I created for these clients and give you some excerpts because I feel like that's really important as well to understand not only how much you can make from a client, but what kind of content was I creating for them. All right, so let's get into the numbers. All right, so at the very top of this list is the client that spent $44,680 with me. And what client was it? Well, it was a client that does baby and child products. That might seem kind of crazy, but that business is here local in Memphis, and I met the couple that owns that business through my church. I did not know them. It was a mutual connection that told them that I do videography. And when I met them, they had a desire to start building out their YouTube channel, and they needed help with that. So I was able to end instantly come in and start filming for them, start creating that content. But not only were they using that on YouTube, they were also using that across their very successful Instagram account and now moved on to TikTok as well. So I really was kind of a generalist in terms of the content that I created for this client. I created everything from product videos to educational videos to just going to their offices and filming what their employees were doing, some behind the scenes kind of content, some sit down interviews with the owners. It was kind of a mixed bag in terms of the content that I created for them, but this company really just wanted to shoot a whole bunch of content. So I just became their content creator. I became their videographer and covered everything that they needed coverage of. Now the client would normally create a list of the things that they wanted to film. And then I would show up like at least twice, maybe sometimes three times a month to go and film that content, film as much as I could within several hours and then come back and edit it and send it to them. And again, that landed me at $44,680 for a company that sells baby and child products. So it doesn't have to be this really massive company or this company that has these insane products. It could be a hometown business that is really growing and really thriving and sees the value in content. All right, the second one is a bigger client. It's one that is in the financial tech industry and they spent $36,835 with me. And this was a client I did not see coming at all. I had created an event recap video for them in 2019. And then of course the world shut down. But when that happened, they called me back up to go and shoot a tour video of their corporate offices and shooting that tour video and really making that a successful project and a successful video for them allowed me to get into the door to be able to create more video content for them throughout the rest of the year. And this client has become my biggest retainer client year over year since then. Again, I didn't see this coming. I didn't know how long this would last, but ultimately it led to me creating um, product videos for them, promo videos for them, testimonials for them, more event recap videos, and then even shooting some, some bigger event production style stuff within studios. So this became a big, big client for me. And again, I was still somewhat of a generalist here. I wasn't just shooting like one specific type of video for them. Even though this is a company of about 1500 people, they don't have a videographer on staff. So I stepped in to be able to create video across all their departments, across all the marketing needs. All right, third on this list is actually a college, so higher education. And the cool thing with this college is they wanted me to create a video every single month for them, and the video was always different. So sometimes I was interviewing a student, or sometimes I was just shooting educational content, a presentation, and other times we were promoing the school. So again, 
there's kind of a theme here that I was more of a generalist content creator rather than the person who only shot testimonials or the person who only shot promo videos. Organizations have a huge need for a videographer to come in and create content across the board for that organization. So you need to think about how you could be able to serve your clients by being able to create all the different types of content that they possibly need. And again, if you don't specialize in a certain place, maybe you can find a way to contract that out or bring somebody in to help you do that. But that's going to be a way that if you can come in and truly just be a content creator for them, you're looking at multi thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to be able to help organizations do that. So I was creating lots of different types of content for this college. And again, that landed me at almost $26,000 for a college. All right, the fourth one on this list was actually just a single project, right about $12,000. And I kind of just happened to stumble upon this. Those, this wasn't me doing any specific sales or any kind of marketing. This was through a mutual client connection. They happened to know this larger business that they utilize their software. And that business wanted to create a video with this client, so they hired me to do it. And it was a big budget, a big production. It was somewhat of an outlier here. And this starts to happen as you grow your business. You start to have projects that are a little bit more of an outlier that are really big and happen maybe once annually. And this was my project, a big budget, $12,000. We shot for about two and a half days, both video and photo. Uh, and again, because it was a big project and it was a big company, they had a big budget. I brought in another person, actually maybe two people to help me shoot it. And so we had a little bit bigger crew, more gear involved. So a much bigger budget at $12,000. And then the fifth one on this list that rounds out the clients that spent at least five figures with me is an orthopedic clinic here locally. And this is a big orthopedic clinic. They have about 40 doctors, 40 surgeons. So it's a really big organization. And I got referred to this clinic because of a lady that I know in PR and marketing who values the work that I do, who knows me, who trusts me. And so she sent my name along to the marketing director at the orthopedic clinic she reached out to me and I immediately got on the phone with her and talked to her and figured out what her needs were. And at the end of 2020, her main need was she wanted to create educational style content with doctors answering specific questions. And then she could use those video to those video and then she could use those videos to educate patients or potential patients on what a surgery was going to be like or what a process was going to be like or what recovery was going to be like just purely educational style content and doing that got me $10,765 at the end of 2020. Again, educational style content is very valuable for a lot of organizations. It's very profitable content for you as a videographer because it's linear in shape. You go in, somebody presents something, and then when you go to edit it, there's no crazy edits, there's nothing crazy you have to do creatively. You just piece that thing together in a very linear fashion and you're done. And I know educational content is not going to be the most exciting thing in the world. I understand that. But at the same time, it got me almost $11,000. So there is a huge need, not just for medical, not just for technology, for all organizations to create content that educates their audience on the things that they do. And then as we go down the list from here, we start getting into more of the four figure projects that are more around 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 smaller projects, but still really good projects for me, especially within this first year. And these projects were with churches, with private schools, with two construction companies, with some individuals who had their own business and needed to create some content from their own business as well. And again, went down the list. And as I look at this, initially, it's hard for me to realize that this added up to be $183,000 in total. But if you consider those top five, those make up hundred, about $120,000, dollars of everything that I did. Five clients, five clients. If you can work and build good relationships and build good trust and show them the value of the content that you can create, then you only have to have five clients in order to hit six figures. So again, the whole purpose of this is not to brag. I had no idea that this was gonna happen in 2020. Again, I wanted to only maybe hit $55,000, $60,000 and just prove that I could do this. 
But then all of a sudden, I was over six figures. And not only was I at $100,000, I was at $143,000 in profit. And it just absolutely blew my mind. And that's the reason why I want to teach you this. I want to show you behind the scenes because it is absolutely possible. If you're a videographer, you're independent, you have a small kit. Trust me, I don't have tons and tons of gear. I didn't have, I have more gear now obviously than I did then, but I didn't have a lot of gear at all. I was using mainly one camera, two lenses, tripod, a few lights. That was it. And I was able to, again, in revenue, make $183,000. The reason for that is that video content is incredibly valuable. All organizations, all people see the value in video content. And there's not a ton of videographers out there. There's not a lot of people who do it well and also do it well and do it on time and are reputable and are trustworthy. So that is where you can enter the market, provide value with your videography services, but at the same time, be valuable in the sense that you're trustworthy, be valuable in the sense that you get the job done and you get it you get it done on time. If you look across the board on all social media platforms, it's video. I mean, TikTok is so explosive and it's only video. So there is so much value in being a videographer and you can absolutely hit six figures, change your life, change your finances, change what you're doing and really enjoy it. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. So if you guys have any questions, drop those below and I would love to answer those or just dialogue with you in the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're enjoying this content and you're not subscribed, I would encourage you to subscribe because I want to be able to deliver more of this kind of content to you all in regards to videography, photography, and the entire business of everything. I truly want to grow this channel so that I can help you all learn from my own experiences and just make a better career for yourself. Do what you love change your life again financially, change your life in terms of options and freedom. That's what I want to be able to do and help encourage and inspire. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you all on the next video.